Welcome to Reading Time with Steffi. Today's storybook is Stay, A Girl, A Dog, A Bucket List. Written by Katie Calise, illustrated by M. Sarah Calise. If you enjoyed this story, please give it a like and I'm adding new books each week, so please subscribe. When Astrid came home from the hospital, Eli was there waiting. He was Astrid's first friend. In time, Eli also became Astrid's personal bodyguard, her favourite pillow, and sometimes her best hiding place. Astrid and Eli had many things in common. They lived in the same house, ate at the same table, and slept in the same bed. There was only one difference. Astrid was a girl and Eli was a boy and a dog. As they grew older, Astrid began to notice other differences. I'm getting bigger than you, she said. Yes, thought Eli, but I'm getting older than you. It was true. For every birthday Astrid had celebrated, Eli had the equivalent of six or seven birthdays, sometimes eight. When Astrid was six, she was still a young girl, but Eli was an old dog. By then, Astrid noticed it too. You walk so slowly now, Astrid told Eli one day at the beginning of summer. They stopped in the park to buy a bucket of popcorn. Popcorn is nice, said Astrid, but let's pretend we're eating spaghetti and meatballs. Spaghetti with meatballs, thought Eli. That sounds delicious. After they finished their snacks, Astrid took Eli to the playground. Eli, Astrid said, have you ever been down a slide? You really should before you get too old. So, with Astrid's help, Eli slid down the sun-warmed slide. That was fun, Eli thought. Who knew? I'm going to make a list, Astrid said, of all the things we should do before you get too old. We can do everything on the list together. The first thing on the bucket list was a bike ride. I'm not sure I can teach you how to ride a bike, Astrid told Eli the next day, but I can give you a ride on mine. And she did. This is better than riding in a car, Eli thought. The next day, Astrid took Eli to the library where they checked out lots of books about dogs. I don't know why I've never read to you before, said Astrid. I'm glad I put this on your bucket list. Me too, thought Eli, who enjoyed looking at the pictures. A week later, they went to see a movie. Astrid asked for special permission from the theatre owner. I'll be quiet, Eli promised. They came home and slept under the stars until it started raining. Then they went inside. Eli slept with Astrid under the covers. That was also on the bucket list. The following week, Astrid gave Eli a bubble bath. After that, she brushed his clean fur for a full hour. Look how handsome you are, Astrid said. I am handsome, Eli thought. I'm also very old. It was true. Astrid knew it too. So she added one more thing to the bucket list. The last treat would be a surprise for Eli.
On Saturday night, Astrid took Eli to a restaurant for dinner. Two plates of spaghetti with meatballs, Astrid told the waiter. When their meals arrived, Astrid beamed. This is what you deserve for being the best friend in the world. It is delicious, thought Eli, but I wish we were having popcorn in the park. As the weeks passed, Eli's fur faded from grey to white. His eyesight became weak. His legs often ached. He no longer had the strength to walk to the park. So they stayed home and remembered the happy times together. Is there anything else you want to do before you get too old? Astrid asked. Anything at all? Whatever it is, I'll add it to the bucket list. This, thought Eli. Just this. Being with Astrid was the only thing left on Eli's bucket list. It was the only thing that had ever been on Eli's bucket list. 